These are the people who wanted to see you crack, family. Welcome into our broadcast today of You Are Enough. I'm your host, Nikki. If this is your first time tuning into our channel, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, hit that notification bell so when we upload future videos, you're not going to miss one single video. And hit the like button for us. Jump over to my Instagram page. Give me your support over there. To all of you all who are following me on Instagram, I'm so happy to see you jumping from YouTube and jumping over there to my Instagram page. And don't forget, on the Instagram page, family, there are some links. I want you guys to give us your support over there to purchase some products over there. You can get our benevolence candles, our journal from over there, our pen, and you can also get your copy of the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. Hit those links and give us your support over there. Listen, these are the people that wanted to see you crack. You can't control how people feel. Just listen, family. You can't. There's nothing that you can do to control how a person feel. You can't control what another person does. You can't control how people make decisions in their life. You can't control these things. People want to see you crack. People want to see you at the bottom because you made a decision to leave them behind. When you make a decision to leave people behind, see, whenever you go through so much in your life, it should put you in a position to look at you. See, these people have made you go within. They've made you take a self-reflection of who you are, what you want out of your life, what you will accept in your life, and what you will not accept in your life. These people that came for you, they wanted to see you crack, family. They wanted to see you hit bottom. They wanted to see your bottom out. They did. They wanted to see you on your face and they wanted to do whatever it took to make sure that you were on your face. But God said you can walk upon serpents and scorpions and you cannot be cursed. Can you imagine that? It won't destroy you. It won't kill you. That means things that people put in your way to kill you, to destroy you, to set you up. People set you up for your downfall. But it was the greatest elevation for you. And they hate it. Because what they sent out to destroy you, this is what was the precursor of your life. This is, is what really just thrust you into this new season of your life. Problems, when you go through when you're on God's team, when you go through problems and when you go through challenges, this is not setting you back. You all hear me today. Now, one person has set you back. When you need to be in a place, you're going to get there. You're not going to be there early. You're not going to be there late. You're going to be there right on time. You are right on schedule. Hashtag that. I'm right on schedule. You are. You're not late. You are right on schedule. You are right where you need to be. Even if it's in a place where you don't want to be, you are right where you need to be. You are. You are supposed to be in the position that you're in right now. You are supposed to be in the place that you're in. Doesn't mean you're going to stay in this place. Absolutely not. You're not going to stay in this place. You are not going to stay in this wilderness. God is going to get you out of the wilderness. He is. You are treading upon things, family, that try to literally take you out of here. You are treading upon people who wanted to see you have nothing. Can you imagine? It's, it's hard to believe. I, I get so many emails about things like this. What kind of people are they? You don't really have to ask yourself a question like that because you already know who they are. You already know who these people belong to. They don't belong to God. These are spawn of Satan. These are seed of Satan. And when you have the light of God upon your life, family, you can expect to be targeted. You've been targeted. You've been sought out. And it started in your own family. It starts in your family because the Lord tells us in the word of God that our own enemies are in our household. Everything that you need to learn about people, guess what? You're going to go to school in your own family. Before God blesses you and before God gives you to the world, he's going to break you. He's going to break you. He's going to crush you. And he's going to use your flesh and blood to do it. He is. He's going to use your family to do it. This is where ministry began, not in the pulpit, not running a revival, not running a conference. Absolutely not. 
your ministry begins in your own family because God is teaching you every attitude, lack of integrity, lack of character, love, hate, enviousness, strife, jealousy, bitterness, resentment. All of these things are in your family. And whenever you go to the house to the house of God, it's so sad. Do you know ministries are so fake? Some of them. People learn in the church how to hate. There are so many hateful and mean and nasty, cold people in church. I didn't say the house of God. I said in church. Because in the house of God, these are loving people. They are spirit-filled people. They are. But they try to take you out for that reason, family. You got something important to do. And I want you to understand this when you go through certain things in life. Don't look at anything negative. Whatever you go through, even if it's a negative circumstance, even if it's a negative experience, don't look at it negative. Don't look at it. Because the enemy never comes for anybody that is not worth anything. They made you feel like that, didn't they? They made you feel like you were less than. People made you feel like you were not worthy. They made you, made you feel like you were just nothing. And the reason they made you feel like that because they knew you were somebody but they knew what kind of threat you would be if you ever figure out who you were. This is what challenges do. This is what problems do. All that pain you're going through with all the hurt, all the betrayal, all the manipulation, all the lies, all of those traumatic experiences that you've endured, that you are in right now, but you're coming out of it. All of these things are going to teach you how to love you. These things are going to help you have strength. See God in every situation. See God in everything. Everything you go through within life, the good, the bad, the happy, the sad, the ugly, because God has a reason for you going through with it. He's going to he's going to send you out of it. You're coming out of it. Just remember that wherever you are, you're coming out. You know, sometimes in life, too, family, you can make bad decisions and you can entrap your own self. You can enslave your own self and get yourself in situations that you know you shouldn't be in. But God is so gracious. God is so merciful. He'll get you out of these places. He'll get you out of these circumstances. He'll get you out of these hard places. The hardships are there to teach you a lesson. People teaching you a lesson. People are teaching you right now how to love you. People are teaching you what you're going to accept in your life. People are teaching you so many lessons. You got to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what God is speaking to you through somebody else. Because just like God will use somebody to give you a prophetic word, to give you some motivation and inspiration, just like God will use his people to do that, God will use his people to rebuke you too, family. God will use other people in this world to teach you some lessons that you need to learn along the way. You're on a journey. And on the journey to greatness, on the road to greatness, on the road to destiny. You're going to meet so many people. You're going to meet good people. You're going to meet bad people. You're going to be you're going to meet loving people. You're going to meet hateful, cold, callous, black-hearted people. You're going to have betrayals. You're going to have people who will commit to you. You're going to have people who're going to support you, who are not going to support you. No family, but you got to understand why you're going through with it. If you always have the perception that everything that you go through with even though it is bad, it has everything to do with you. You're going to have a hard time coming out of that season of your life. This isn't about you. This is bigger than you. See God in every single thing that you go through with. It was sent to crack you. It was sent to dismember you. It was sent to break you down to nothing. It was sent so you wouldn't come back from it. But you're going to bounce back from it. You're going to come back from it. You are because you belong to God. Nothing can break you. Nothing can break you. Absolutely nothing. They tried it and it will always fail. It will never win. It will never succeed. This is what you need to understand. It happened to you. But what the enemy is sending out for to do is not going to do. You're still standing. You're still here and you still have your right mind. You do. You're still here. That's a sign. This is a sign to the world. This is a sign to you that you're going to make it. Don't even pray, family, for the enemy not to come for you. Don't even pray a prayer like that because God already forewarned us that he's going to come. 
because he's roaming, he's looking, he's seeking who he can devour. This is why you got this is why you have to stay prayed up. This is why you have to stay more in God's word than you do anything else. This is why you have to make time to pray and you have to make time for your devotion. You have to. This world that we live in, this world is going to hell in a handbasket, but these things have to come to pass. Because these things are a sign of the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is preparing his people for what is to come. People are walking around here, family, but they're dead people walking. They're physically here, but they're dead people walking. Don't be vulnerable to people. When people show you who they are, you better believe them. You better believe them because this can mean between your life and death. This can mean in between your entrapment, enslavement of the enemy, or your freedom and your liberation. You got to open your eyes. God gave you your eyes to see in the realm of the spirit. He gave you ears to hear. Yes, we have natural sight. Yes, we have five senses. But God wants us to use those five senses spiritually. He wants you to use these things spiritually. Don't even worry about who's trying to break you. Don't even concern yourself who's trying to trip you up. It don't matter who's trying to trip you up. It'll never happen. They'll fall before you will. They'll eat dirt before you will. God said, I never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Do you believe the word of God? If you do, you act like it. You talk like it. You walk like it. You think like it. it don't matter how nobody feel about it. And when you're confident, they're going to say you're arrogant and you act like you're a facetious person. No, you're not arrogant. You're confident. You're confident in your God and you're confident in the person that God made you to be. You don't owe nobody an explanation. Don't even give one. Walk away. Walk away. Walking away is power for family. Holding your peace. That shows you have power. The world will think you're weak. No, you're not weak. You know you don't have to fight because the battle is already won. You know what people are going to get for coming for you. You know what people are going to get. You already know what God said. When you know what God says and what he's going to do against your enemy, you can walk away. This is your power to walk away. When you know who you are in God, when you know who your God is, and when you know what God says he's going to do, how he's going to annihilate your enemies, how he's going to make these people your footstool, that's your power to walk away. That's your cue to walk away. They wanted to break you, but they couldn't. This made you. They wanted to crack you in a million pieces. They treated you just the way they wanted to treat you to crack you. They'll build your confidence up and they'll tear you down. They'll be loyal to you for a season and they'll take that loyalty and that commitment back. We have to learn how not to be loyal to disloyal people. We have to learn not to be committed to a lack of commitment that we receive from people. We have to learn as people of God how to keep a discerning hat on and don't be vulnerable to people. You got to learn that because your heart can be your biggest blessing and your heart can be your biggest curse. They made you the person that you are today. You wouldn't be stronger. You wouldn't be wiser. You wouldn't be a better person. You wouldn't be more anointed without all these things you've gone through with. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have the insight. You wouldn't have the knowledge and you wouldn't have the revelation without the, tri the tri tribulations that you've gone through with. You wouldn't. It'll never prosper. It won't. Hashtag it. It'll never prosper. It won't. They won't win. The devil will never win. He's already lost. He's done. He wants you to believe something different, but you believe the word of God. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Love all of you so much. Don't forget, family, support our benevolence candles here on our YouTube page as well. Hang in there. The best is truly yet to come for you. Do not get scammed on our channel. You see all of these scammers in the replies. When you get the reply, delete it. Just delete the reply when you see it. When you see my fake picture icon, other people's fake picture icon, cryptocurrency, all these crazy WhatsApp messages, don't you fall prey and victim to these people when you see these replies. You all need to delete this. Don't let it linger. You see it, delete it. We are accountable for what we hear. Don't forget that the truth that you hear, you are accountable for the truth. They tried to break you, but it literally made you. It promoted you. It elevated you. Enjoy the next season of your life. Give me your testimonies. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.